Welcome back to my channel. Today I will show how to run Windows in a Docker container. The requirements you need to Docker up and running in your machine. And I have videos how to install it with Windows, Mac and Ubuntu. All the links will be in the description. You go to use this open source project. They have how to install Windows in the container. So you can see all these informations in here. And you can just run this Docker uh, command to run the application. But I go to use a Docker Composer to do that. But let's start. I go to open my terminal and run the create the folder mkg windows create the windows folder for create the file inside to the windows. After that, vi composer dot yaml compose dot yaml and let me copy paste the in this file you have the image you go to use the container name this device the because they go to use k and kvm they do go to use kvm to run you go to Give the permit for using the network. You have like these three ports open, stopping graceful for two minutes. Uh, you restart if you're failing, and you go to put it the environments. So, first ones you need to put the Windows version you go to use, but if you come in the project, they have all the Windows versions in here, so you can change there. But I go to use the Windows 11 Pro. So I have the Windows 11 Pro in here. And I will go to use 8 gigabytes memory. I go to use a 4 CPU. And I go to use 256 gigabytes for the storage. And I go to mount a vault, uh, a volume in my, in my directory. And that's I can share files with the, my Windows container. So let's close. Let's close this. After that, let's type it compose docker compose app D. So they go to search the container. And you can check the container in the local post. 86. And they start to run in here. So I go to waiting for the whole installation done and I will come back when it's done. Okay, the Windows is up and running in the browser, but because I use the Windows, I need to change uh, my ports for access. So I need to go to BI, my, my composer. Let's change that for 90. Let me save and dot compose up again. So they go to restart the container with the new port. Because if I use the ports I put there, they go to connect in the my my computer, now in the container. Let's use the remote connection. Let's use the remote desktop. Local host, local host, and port will be three three eight nine eight three three zero. Connect. Okay, so you need to use a uh, use a Docker. No, use any password, and okay. So they go to connect the machine. So that is my machine. I connect in the my container. Now let's go to task manage. Task manage. In the task manage, you can see in the resources. You can see you have four CPU, 
you have 8 gigabytes memories and you have ssd and you have 256 gigabytes so this is working fine uh, now now let's go to network so we can go to control plan control plan um let's go to network um connect to the network um no you networking so we can turn you on here let's turn you on okay you can see you have your data in here and let's create a new file in here a um, new folder in here a test inside that let's create a text text enter and and if you go back to my machine ls cd data data ls you can see you have the share cd share ls and you can see you have the file and the folder so if i touch and one two three dot sticks and let's back to my container and I go to that one two three text is there and we you can use the you can use the windows in the docker like like that and you need to check some configurations in here so um if you want to stop this container you can go docker stop and windows you name the container so go to stop okay you go to stop and they will take like two minutes to stop because they go to stop it graceful and if you don't want to um all the time you when you restart your machine they start this container you can just use this command to update so always you need to start the container so when you start, they don't start to with your machine. And if you need to know more information about your container, you can use the doc inspection and they have all the information for the container. And if you want to back, doc base, doc start windows because windows is the name for our container. So let's see if they back. Start to restart. Go back. Nice. Let me back to my connector. Uh, my remote desktop. Let's see. Yes. So you have the container here. So. In for information you cannot play 3d games but you can play some uh you can run some softwares um uh, with like photoshop or any like software you require to use windows but and simple games like some cards games um chester but don't try to run any 3d games and uh uh, so one important information you need to know if this project uh, if it is legal uh, all these uh, windows uh, images you go to use is three hours so you, if you want to use like for another uh, it's not just for this three hour you can buy the like the serials and put in here because if you go in here and go to system system information um uh, settings if you go in settings and you can see this is not activated yet so you can buy activated license and activated this uh windows 
in this machine so we can use for another properties that's the way how you can run Windows in a Docker container. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe my channel and like it. And I see you in the next one.